So I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, today is Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. Uh, it's uh, 3.05 p.m. and we'll go ahead and get started with our traffic committee meeting for the month of May. We can go ahead and start off with introductions. I'm Brian Cervantes with the Engineering Division. I'm Maria Fraser with the Engineering Division. Jana Robbins with Traffic. Joanne Burns, Deputy Committee Development Director. So now our next item is the traffic committee items taken to the previous traffic committee meeting. Uh, those two items were the traffic review of Toluca Avenue and Cameron Avenue and the traffic review of Lark Ellen Avenue between Roland Avenue and Workman Avenue. And next we'll go ahead and hop into our third item which is the new traffic committee items. The first of which will be the traffic review of Bentley Court and Hillside Drive. Uh, Perfect. So for the first one, Bentley Court Hillside Drive, the resident is requesting for a line of sight review at the intersection of Bentley Court and Hillside Drive. The resident reported that vehicles turning left from Bentley Court to Hillside Drive have the obstructed view of uh, oncoming tra westbound traffic. So for the existing conditions, uh, Hillside Drive has a 35 mile per hour speed limit, where, while Bentley Court has a 25 mile per hour posted speed limit. The intersection is uncontrolled uh, for both directions. The street cal classification from Caltrans is uh, both our local roads. The street width, uh, Hillside Drive is 40 feet wide while Bentley Court is 30 feet wide. Uh, Hillside has one 20 foot lane in each direction, whereas Bentley Court has one 15 foot lane in each direction. Uh, parking is allowed on both streets, and there is some existing red curb on the southeast and southwest corners of the intersection. As part of the review of collision, uh, data was looked at from Switters. Uh, the review looked at a three-year period between January 2021 through December of 2023, and during this time it was found that there was one collision in 2021. As well, a field visit was conducted and site photos were taken on November 8th of 2023 as part of the review. And based on engineering judgment and warrants found in the CAM UTCD and CVC, it was determined that some red curb may be installed to help improve the line of sight for vehicles exiting Bentley Court onto Hillside Drive. Due to the curve of the road along Hillside Drive, as well as the slope on the east side of the intersection, installing additional red curb would prevent vehicles from parking too close to Bentley Court on the south side of Hillside Drive. And the recommendations are shown on the screen, which are to install 20 feet of red curb on the south side of Hillside Drive on the southwestern corner, and install 20 feet of red curb on the south side of Hillside Drive on the southeast corner. Any discussion on this item? No, no. no. Okay. Do we have a vote to send this to council and prove it? Yes. 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 Okay. All right, we'll move to the next one. All right, then. Our next item is going to be the review of Lark Ellen Avenue and East Cameron Avenue. Uh, the City of West Covina received a request from resident uh, or from the West Covina Police Department regarding concerns with enforcing the existing right turn restriction signage at the intersection of Lark Ellen Avenue and East Cameron Avenue. The signs are currently outdated since new school hours have been implemented at West Covina High School uh, and the request is to remove the outdated signage and replace them with new updated signage to be enforceable in that area. So for the existing conditions here, the, there is a school zone, which is 25 miles per hour. However, outside school hours, the normal speed limit is 40 miles per hour. The intersection is signal controlled, and there uh, are signals for all four directions. There's additionally advanced warning signage for all four directions uh, for the intersection. Uh, according per Caltrans, Lark Ellen Avenue is a minor arterial road, whereas East Cameron Avenue is a minor arterial road. There are marked yellow crosswalks at this intersection. And for on-street parking uh, in the eastbound, westbound directions, no parking is allowed. For the northbound, southbound direction, parking is allowed, except there is some red curb near the intersection. As well for this location, a field review was done and uh, looked at existing conditions. 
And based on engineering judgment, the City of West Covina traffic request guidelines and guidelines found in the CAMUTCD and CVC, the intersection of Lark Ellen Avenue and East Cameron Avenue is eligible for the following recommendation, which is to remove and replace all the existing right turn restriction signs at the intersection of East Cameron Avenue and Lark Ellen Avenue to reflect the new school hours, which will be one for each direction for a total of four. So there's, there's a um, right turn restricted for all directions? Correct. Not just the northbound direction? Correct, okay. all four directions. But we only remove the one? No, the recommendation is for all, all four. All four, okay. Perfect. Is it on the, as this is shown, is it, are the, all the signs on the pole, signal poles? Correct. Okay, so I know this came from the police department. They indicated that um, um, that the signs needed to reflect the new school hours. So I know that state law has them starting later than earlier as prior signage. So the signs need to be replaced. Any comments? Is this a second recommendation? Mm-hmm. So the only two oh, things we're changing, yeah, okay, on the back. The so we're going to remove and replace all existing okay. signage. So there's one on each corner. So it'd be four signs to reflect the new school hours. No, I misread it. Oh, so <laughs> that's why. Okay. All right. So um, do we have a um, motion Oops. to? Approve or deny? I'll place a motion to approve. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. Then do we all agree that it'll be sent to council? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Then we can go ahead and jump into our third item, which is the review of Sunset Avenue and Roland Avenue. Uh, resident requested a traffic review of existing conditions at the intersection of Sunset Avenue and Roland Avenue. The resident reported that westbound vehicles are not watching for oncoming traffic before proceeding onto Sunset Avenue and feel that a traffic signal is needed at this intersection. For the existing conditions, uh, the posted speed limit along Sunset is 40 miles per hour and Roland is 35 miles per hour. The intersection is controlled along Roland Avenue and uncontrolled along Sunset Avenue. Uh, per the Caltrans road system classification map, Sunset Avenue is listed as an other principal arterial road, whereas Roland west of the intersection is a local road and Roland Avenue east of the intersection is a major collector. Uh, on the east leg and south leg, there's white ladder uh, crosswalks and along the south leg as well, there's RRFBs existing at the intersection. Uh, there is no parking allowed in the eastbound direction, uh, westbound direction, northbound direction between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. And southbound is allowed, although there is some red curb. And adjacent to this intersection is Del Norte Park. And collision data was obtained from Switters, and the review period was a three-year period between January 2021 through December of 2023. Wow. Uh, in 2023, there was three collisions. In 2022, there was also three collisions. And in 2021, there was four collisions for a total of 10 collisions uh, at the intersection. And as part of the study, a uh, field investigation or field review was just done uh, to look at existing conditions. For really fast, since the recommendation was to look at a signal or stop sign, uh, the placement of stop signs at an intersection is based on warrants or guidelines found in the CAMUTCD supported by a site-specific engineering study, and stop signs are not used to control or slow speeding vehicles. To consider always stop control, both streets should be relatively equal in volume. Sunset Avenue carries about 23,000 vehicles per day, with Roland Avenue approximately 2,500 vehicles per day. In this case, Sunset Avenue is considered a principal arterial, so it would not be appropriate to install an all-way stop at this location. Uh, and then the resident has asked for consideration of installing a traffic signal. 
However, Roland Avenue is an offset street with about 100 feet between the North Lake and South Lake. Uh, Roland Avenue provides a through route traveling east from Sunset Avenue. And the justification for installation of traffic signal was based on warrants as found in the CAM UTCD Chapter 4C and supported by a site-specific engineering study. Traffic signals are regulatory devices used to establish right-of-way for motorists, pedestrians, and bicyclists at an intersection. And the primary function of a traffic signal is to assign right-of-way to conflicting movements of traffic at an intersection. And this is done by inter interrupting heavy traffic flows to permit the crossing of minor street movements that would not otherwise safely move across or into an intersection. When completing a study, there are eight warrants to investigate, and the warrants include traffic volumes on the major and minor streets with minimum volume criteria for certain time periods, the number of pedestrians, gaps in traffic on the major street, and the number of collisions with five or more in a 12-month period. In reviewing the collision data, there was three collisions in 2023, so this intersection would not meet signal installation requirements at this time, but due to the pedestrian crossing, this intersection will be closely monitored for improvements that may be needed in the future. Additionally, as shown on the screen, this location was reviewed as part of a traffic calming study in 2021 for Roland Avenue from Sunset Avenue to Vincent Avenue. And the uh, recommendations shown on the screen have been installed at this time. So based on ju engineering judgment, the City of West Covina traffic request guidelines and guidelines found in the CAM, UTCD, and CVC, this location is not being considered for signal installation at this time. To remind drivers attempting to make turns across Sunset Avenue from Roland Avenue, the installation of a cross traffic does not stop plaque should be added to Roland Avenue for the eastbound direction. This intersection will also be forwarded to the City of West Covina Police Department for spot enforcement along Sunset Avenue near Roland Avenue. Any uh, discussion on this item? No. no. Okay. So at this point, we're just going to add the cross traffic does not stop sign for the eastbound direction. And then we'll continue to monitor the intersection for um, if it, it has more pedestrians crossing or something that would trigger a relook to put a signal here. Signals, as you know, are about $700,000. So um, if something like that is is um, necessary, then the city would need to uh, make arrangements in their CIP budget or try to get grants to include that. So at this time, this is, like I said, we'll continue to monitor it. Mm -hmm. Do you have a card? Uh, oh. Do you have, uh, are, we able to, are we able to comment or speak on the particular item at all? Or? Yeah, you just, after you speak, just fill out another card, will you? <laughs> Appreciate well, they it. Well, they had for agenda items, not on the agenda, I don't see any place for items that are Oh, on at the agenda. beginning. So oh. that's okay. You, you, <laughs> yeah, like I said, you go ahead and you can speak just if you don't mind, just so we have on record that you spoke on that item as, as well. well. Yes. Okay. Appreciate okay. it. Uh, just one clarification. They're looking to put... I go to the dock park all the time, so I come down Roland, I make that quick right and quick left mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. What is it that the residents are requesting specifically? They requested a signal at the intersection. For the We're assuming south it's for the Roland southern. Or the north I think it's the southern. The south, yeah, southern it's Roland. kind of confusing because it's an offset. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, what I see happening there a lot is people cutting the corners to do that right and then left and also coming from the northern Roland making that right and then quick left do you know to continue to get so on to the other Roland mm -hmm. yeah that's the behavior that I see out there okay thank you for the clarification. thank you all right then um, if we all agree we'll send just that little sign to uh, council to uh, get on our list of improvements yes. okay yes. all right Okay. Then we'll move on to audience comments on items not on the agenda. I think we just have. Yeah. Want to go over your item first? You want to do yeah. this one first? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, later. <laughs> yeah, just before you leave. Yeah, 
<laughs> Thank you. Okay, so first one was uh, with regards to a stop sign improvement that was set to occur on Shakespeare and Shadow Oak. Mm -hmm. Now, I do know that you guys make the recommendations to council. Mm -hmm. Council then approves or denies, and then does it come back to this department? Because I'm kind of I'm trying to understand the protocol. Of, so once it's approved by council, then uh, it gets put into a CIP project based on our uh, budget for okay. every year. So right now we're actually putting that bid package together, um, seeing how much we have budget versus how many locations we could do. Essentially the breakdown uh, engineer's estimate of it. Mm -hmm. So then we wrap that uh, project together, put it out to bid for contractors to bid on, uh, and then go through a process to award the contract to uh, be constructed. So this item, because uh, for this budget it is over the threshold, it will go back to city council for final approval. So for this item, um, you'll be able to see in a couple um, months here an item going to council for uh, pedestrian signage upgrades. That will have all the locations are included for that project. Okay, just to make sure we're talking about we're talking about the Shakespeare correct yes. Shadow so, Road stop sign yeah so we okay. we lump together multiple months worth of the committee okay. items at once so that way uh, essentially we won't have to pay additional mobilization fees and whatnot because okay. we're grouping them together and doing them all at once. Okay, that probably answers the same question for the second part, which is the Westport thing that falls into that same bundle. So is this committee the proper entity for follow up on that, or is there another entity that you would, that I would contact to find out more information. You could reach out to either here or you could always reach out just to the engineering division in general. Okay. Um, right. Outside in, of the meetings and we could always give it's updates. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll to yeah. know. I mean traffic, we usually lump, we try to go at least two or three quarters, like Brian said, depending on how much um, funding we have. Mm -hmm. So it'll be like from month, you know, September to December, we're trying to fit all that we brought here into the budget. I'm not sure what it is for this next one, but. Um, okay. Yeah, I remember it being back in yeah. that time frame. But okay. Also because the economy scales as well, because we'll be able to get more if we get just one signal at a time, it's more right. expensive. So if we get them no, all yeah, together. No, it makes sense. So we just, that's why we try to lump them into one CAP. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. I don't believe we have any other uh, comments on items on the agenda from the audience. Are there any committee members that have any items on the agenda they'd like to comment on? Not on the agenda. Not on the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did you have something? If you want, if you want to send, fill out one of those cards, if you want to. Oh no, I'm. You're just listening. <laughs> You're good. I already talked to Brian about okay. uh, about the stoplight. I mean the crosswalk and everything. I sent him pictures last month and everything. Okay. So yes. Took care. Of, but you said it's not going to be until later on after the school lets out until the budget gets approved and everything. So, right. Yeah. We're yeah, still waiting I mean, on our to see. At least he has an idea what you know uh, what's going on and everything. They did change the stop. I was telling them they changed the stoplights a little bit. Uh, when I got back from vacation this week, they made the Valinda light about 15 seconds longer. Uh, I guess in the afternoon, in the morning, I didn't notice that, so I don't know what kind of uh, timing the engineering department did with those lights, but the week before I went on vacation, the stoplights were glitching. They were all flashing red, and then they would do their cycle, and then they would flash red again. So especially in the morning, of course, the worst time and everything. So I left a couple of messages with engineers. I said, hey, you guys better get out of here and fix these lights. Traffic's backing up. Do you with know, when they went to look at it. Driving nuts, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, but that's about it, yeah, that's all. So we just have to wait and see after September once the funding comes in. Maybe when I get back from vacation, we'll have some new crosswalks and some everything. That'd be nice. <laughs> Never know. All right, so I guess that's it. So we can go ahead and adjourn this meeting. Our next meeting will be the second Tuesday in the month of June. Thank you. Thank you.